Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. So in today's video we're going to be doing a comparison of the Samsung Galaxy S8 Ultra versus the iPad Pro. So in this I know there's a lot of people that do digital drawing themselves pretty much like myself. I do it as a hobby. I've done it all my life. I love drawing. I love painting. I love doing illustrations. So I did a comparison video last year of the iPad Pro versus the Galaxy Tab S Plus, S7 Plus, sorry. And it was really, really good. People really, really enjoyed it. So I'll do a comparison of the new S8 Ultra versus the iPad Pro. Now, I don't know if you can see just before on this intro, but the difference in color tones on the actual iPad Pro versus the Ultra with it being an AMOLED display. It is night and day. I think you're going to be really, really shocked at just how nice and how much more has gone into the Ultra to make it a first choice over the iPad if you are a digital artist. That's my opinion anyway. I know others will vary, but I, these will be my own thoughts and opinions on digital painting on the iPad Pro and also the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. Hope you enjoy. So here we have the Ultra on the left, the Samsung Ultra, and also the iPad laying down beside it. And as I said in the intro, you can see a massive stark difference in the color balance. So I'd say the hues, it just seems to be so much more red, as you can see. I know it will change as the light is, but I'd say the actual image itself it's a lot more red there's like a massive red hue tone right the way through it and at first if if you don't have these side by side you don't notice the stark difference in the contrast ratios of colors but it's more natural on the ultra than what it is on the ipad there is a massive stark difference now if you don't have the ultra and you're using it you don't really see it but side by side it's actually night and day now yes the screen on the samsung s8 ultra is amoled so the blacks are really 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 deep and the color balance is perfect and then obviously i just think overall it's a lot brighter as well i know it doesn't say that it is on paper but i just think that it comes across a lot brighter than what it does on the iPad Pro. They are on full brightness at the moment. And just to give you a demonstration, if I go to settings, and if I go to display, you'll see that True Tone is actually off. If I put it back on, it doesn't really do that much difference to the actual colors. You'll see that it's just a higher temperature. It's just like if I go to the saturation and up the saturation, that's what it does. It really is quite strange when it's side by side. Now, the iPad Pro has been renowned for ease of use with an app called Procreate, which is really, really super smooth, lightning fast. You can create canvases that are huge uh, with no lag or latency. It is really, really smooth. One thing is the price. Now the price is about 1000 plus for the Ultra. And so it's now rivaling the iPad Pro for top specs and memory as well. So it really is, there's not much of a difference, but if you go down to say maybe the S8, or the S8 Plus, you're still getting the same chipset, so it'll be a cheaper price. Yes, the only thing that, another thing that I think is really nice is the actual size, with it being 14.6 inch, it is 
huge guys it is massive but yeah it's really really been an absolute joy now i was really impressed with the samsung tab 7 plus last year i think it was a massive leap in performance it was really really good for the next samsung tablet in order to do digital art on but this is something else this is absolutely remarkable i've really 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 enjoyed it so i'm just going to kick things off with something really really simple and basic just to show you now i'm not going to go through every single app draw an app that's out there because it will take far too long if you wish to see different apps in use on this tablet then let me know in the comments and i'll gladly accommodate that for you but I've used the be what I find to be the best one to use, which is Painter. It's a free app. You can upgrade it with, I think it's £7.49. But there really is no need to. All the options that are on there <laughs> are really, really cool. So a couple of the features which I prefer over the iPad is the pen itself. The pen is really, really, really nice. As I say, the strokes and everything that you do. The lag now is down to like 2 milliseconds. So it was 9 on the Tab S7 Plus. And now they've taken that down to two. So that is remarkable in itself. And you really do notice it when you're drawing. It is a silky smooth experience. Equal now to the second generation pen for the iPad Pro. So if I can, I will. what I'll do guys is I will zoom in. Get a little bit closer and then we'll start showing what it's about and how well it performs okay so now i'm zoomed in a little bit i just wanted to show you that now it is just as silky and smooth as procreate on the ipad pro just for the way that it moves as you can see you can go really really in really really out but as you can see there's my hand i've got a medium sized hand size of the tablet is absolutely huge and to have this real estate for drawing so if I am drawing, this is what I'll be doing. So you can really, really zoom in and get in to see the details of the painting itself, which is pretty cool. So as you can see, but I'm not too sure if you can see it, but when I put my pen quite close to it, you will see a dot and that just shows you where it is itself. I don't know if you can see that, not on the white, but you could probably see it here. You can see the actual image. And that just shows you where the pen will actually hit before you go. Now, you don't have that luxury on the iPad Pro. So to have that here, let me just zoom in so you can actually see that, guys. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see the white dot? And then as I get closer, you can see that it goes right to where the pen will actually go on the screen itself. So that in itself is really, really cool. So let me straighten it back up. So over here on the left hand side, if you hold the pen over with the cursor, it will then tell you what the options are. So here at the bottom, is your opacity so that is your opacity that is your flow and that is your softness the next one up is your color palette so we have the rgb range we can change the temperatures you all know what a color wheel is so that's really cool we have the eyedropper so we just eye drop and if you want to choose as you can see and just hold it you can just choose whatever color that you want it's really simplified and really nice. It definitely reminds me of Procreate itself. Here we have the size of the brush. It tells you in pixels. And then we have the angle itself. So we can change the angle, which is really cool. We've got your blending modes, which is normal. Darkness multiply, color burn, all the usuals. You can have that for the brush itself, or you can have it for the layers in the top right. We have our eraser if we tap on it we don't just have to have a hard brush like i've selected here we have multiple choices and there is a lot there is a lot to choose so it's really really good smudge tool and then we have our drawing tool which is pretty cool 
So what I'm going to do, guys, as I say, I'm just going to continue to do a little bit of work on here just to show you how well it works. And, um, yeah, so you can find out for yourself if this would be something that you would like for yourself. But I am really, really, really impressed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit more detail to this eye. So I'm going to choose the colours. I am working around the tripod, so I will be swapping hands. I do apologise. So I'll go to the colour picker, choose my colour, come to the wheel itself. You can highlight it and bring it out as well, which is something that's really, really cool. So you can have it just outside on there if you wish. Gestures are the same, two fingers to go back and so forth, which is really, really nice. We can make it smaller if you wish to. I think that's really, really cool. Tap on any of the colors and any of the colors that you want, whether you want it big or small. If you have two fingers, you can then move it around. So if it's something that you want to do, so I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to zoom into with the right hand, as you can see, and this is something that is really nice. So I'm going to go to the color wheel, pick the color that I need. So one thing that would be nice is if the size of the brush that you have, the circle radius itself would, would show where it is, but at the moment it is just a guesstimate really. So as you can see, that's a little bit too big. So I'm going to go down the tab. I'm going to change the opacity. I'm going to go for about 40%. I'm just going to put some nice little strokes in there. I'm not really cautious of just how much I want in there because I will be blending it. So I'm going to go to the smudge tool. I'm going to go to the size, bring it down a bit. And I'm just going to blend it in. Just making sure. I'm going to go to the color picker. Choose this colour, go back to the brush, and I'm just going to paint away this little bit here. I just wanted to make it a little bit more lighter. So if we zoom back out, as you can see, I've just put the extra glare on that side of the eye. So I'm just going to go randomly now just with the strokes, just so you can actually see the effect of the different strokes. So I'm just going to go back out. I had a little go at painting. So this is what you can do, especially with the widescreen 16 by 9 effect, which is really, really cool. So you can do some really nice canvases and really nice images as well. And as I say, you can zoom in and just you see the strokes that you make and it's the experience is just really really nice guys honestly i i am very 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 impressed i'm just going to get rid of this for a moment though so here we have a basic shape ball which i did i know it's 10 painting 101 digitally but obviously you need it to make sure that you can get your colors right and know how to make objects 3d but as i say look how smooth and fluent it is it is really really smooth i am so impressed with this yes it's expensive but i will definitely be using this and using painter over the ipad pro and i've only been using it for about a week and a half now i have found myself gravitating to this rather than the ipad pro as i say the colors themselves just oh, they're not right on the iPad. It's as simple as that. Whether they can do a correction or maybe it's just the actual screen that they use. But this for me 
outweighs it. It looks fantastic. It's brilliant. It's incredibly sharp. And that huge extra real estate that you get with it as well, it just makes for some amazing and beautiful sessions of drawing digitally. I really, really, really am impressed. I will be getting the S8 and the S8 Plus, and I think the experience will be exactly the same. I think the S8 will not have the AMOLED display, but the chipset will be the same, so the performance will be exactly the same. And the S8 Plus will have the AMOLED display, but in a smaller size, but still 16 by nine ratio. So I will be doing videos on that guys as well, if it's something that you'd be interested in. If you like this sort of thing, then please give it a thumbs up and maybe even consider subscribing. I also do retro gaming and emulation as well on these tablets. So yeah, I'm very, very, very impressed. So just let me go through now and show you just through the catalog of drawing and just how nice it is to use. So first off, I'll, I'll use the paint and just the different styles of what we can do. So let's go to the top and then let's choose any color. Let's go with a nice pastel red. Let's go with full opacity and let's go with 50% flow. Let's change the size. Just to show you the levels of pressure. So here we have now just little basic strokes. So as you can see, it's really, really nice. So as I press hard, you'll see it tapers off, but it is silky smooth, guys. So I'm pressing hard, pressing light, getting lighter as a straight stroke as you can see it is pretty cool it is really 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 nice so let's try a different brush let's go with gouache as you can see start off light and build it up and then make it opaque so you can get some really nice strokes. It is so smooth. Same with the brush itself. You can see that I'm deleting it in stages. As you can see, it is really nice it's got a good grip to it because it's rubber based and um, it's got a really good grip so it does feel like you're working on paper it is really nice which is way better than what it is on the ipad it's it's like Torval and dean ice skating with the ipad pro compared to this this i can get really good accurate strokes because of the grip it doesn't grip too much that you feel that it's stopping you from going smooth, but there is just enough to keep the control that you wish. It's really, 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 really nice. And there is no lag. It doesn't matter how big that you make the size of the brush. Let's go full here. Let's take this down. And just so you can see just how nice there is no lag whatsoever and that to me is incredible to at least get the ball back let's change the size right the way down and let's just continue to wipe that out Bigger maybe, opacity, full. So this is pressure based. So if I go hard, it takes it off in two strokes. If I go down any further, it then gradually takes it down. But as I say, guys, I have been so, 
so so impressed so let's go to line artwork i know a lot of people will be seeing what the line because i know there might be a lot of cartoonists watching and so forth so let's go to inks so let's go to a nice fine tip pen let's go with a black and just zoom in just to show you what it's like so i'm going to do squiggles so as you can see it is really nice this is also pressured so there we go thick to thin but it is so smooth nice and accurate and i say if we zoom in and we go some nice lines it is very good and if we zoom out you they won't even look like lines so that's pretty cool very impressed so if you like a bit of cross hatching this is got you covered really nice really smooth i am hugging i say the more pressure you put on the thicker the lines so it is really 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 smooth and that's me zoomed in really 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 close as you can see so i'm very very impressed so let's go for some thicker lines there we go so let's see how it tapers off but just look how nice that taper is it's really nice you get such a nice curve Pressure's nice. It's really good, guys. And if you go really, really, really light, you can hardly see it. Really, really impressive. Very, very impressive. So let's go as big as you can on here, just to show you that there is absolutely no lag whatsoever. There we go. Super smooth, super quick. Same again. Really is nice. You can get some really nice strokes. So I would say overall, in comparison to the iPad Pro, I'm not knocking the iPad Pro because it is fantastic and I've done some amazing artwork on there and I've thoroughly enjoyed it over the years. But to me, this is now the game changer. I think now it's on Apple's term to make a device that is now as big and has as much real estate. Another thing is that the bezels are so much thinner on the Ultra compared to the iPad Pro they're like double the thickness so yeah it is night and day that's how much extra real estate you get so it is considerably bigger as I say you can actually see the difference in the color tone it just so so much red hue in it it's uh kind of disturbing now every time I go back to it I, I I can't in fact I can't go back to it that's how much I think that the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S Ultra they've just done a remarkable job it's fast it's sleek if you're into digital art this would be the one I choose yes it's expensive but I've been paying expensive for Apple products for many 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 years if there is anything else that you wish to see on this guys then let me know if you would like to see me doing a full painting and maybe a time lapse of it just to show you a process of start to finish of using it then let me know in the comments if you wish to see any more on emulation let me know in the comments but i just think that this now is the best android device that you can buy right at this moment it is phenomenal i've enjoyed emulation on it i've enjoyed mobile gaming watching uh, films have been incredible on it because of the sheer size and the amoled display is just so beautiful rich blacks <coughs> really really deep uh, colors pop just absolutely incredible 
I really love it. I'd love to know your thoughts, guys. And as I say, if it's something that you were considering whether to get the Samsung or the iPad Pro for digital art, my recommendations would be don't go for the iPad unless you really, really like Apple products. But if you are a Android fan, and there's so much more you can do Android based than on the iPad anyway, as an emulation and obviously dodgy apps. But this would be my recommendation to newcomers or professionals, then I would say go with the Ultra. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. As always, take care.